to here, drop the tool, then I can delete the middle polygon and I can delete these here, then I can extrude this edge by hitting, no, not necessary, this one by hitting the Z key, select everything again, hit the W key, what's with my action center, automatic, okay, that is better, like so, drop the tool, perspective view, and hit the X key, Okay, now is there a poly in there? Hide. Ah, it's the wrong way around. I can delete it. Unhide. Okay. <coughs> now let me mirror this over the X. So duplicate mirror over the X, apply, drop the tool, and let's see how this looks from the bottom. Well, it's uh, not in the middle, so W key, bring this in the middle, then I need to turn it around a bit, so the E key, to bring it in the middle of two polys here, maybe so. If you pull out the handle, it gives you a bit more control. So like this, drop the tool, perspective mode. Now we have two polys which we can delete, this one and this one, and we can now bridge. Let me just make sure I don't have funny words in here. So vertex, merge, automatic, I thought so, because of that one polygon which was flipped. That's usually an indication that something is wrong. Anyway, now it's good. Go to edge mode, select these edges and these edges and hit the edge bridge tool. Okay. Do the same on the other side. Drop the tool, select these edges and these edges. Bridge these together. Let's go to Shift D to see how this looks. That looks not bad. I think I leave it this way. So let's general see if we can merge some words. Yes. Control C, Shift. Now I take two polys in here, hit the L key, control X, and go to a new mesh, control V. <coughs> we don't need to see this one, we don't need to see the backdrop item yet. And now I go to top view here and want to make uh, the threads. So I need a cylinder with 18 sides, of course. Make it a bit bigger than the other geometry, maybe 12 by 12. Hit the B key, bevel this in, and hit delete. the W key and bring this down. Oh, 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 we have a problem. And the problem is because I rotated 
the geometry before. So it was uh, it was fitting the drawing. <laughs> it is now completely out of. So we can't use this method. I need to do something different. Okay, then we have to look for another way how to make our cutting object. So I select this cylinder, control copy, control V, hit the R key and move this in. Then drop the tool, control copy, control V, R key again, move this outside the original cylinder, then I select this new cylinder and the other new one, control X, hit the N key to get a new mesh, control V, then I select the inner, hit the F key to flip it, select the top edges of these two and bridge them together. We don't need the rest of the geometry, so I can hit L, L again, delete. Now we have this here, W key, and bring it down a bit. Select any of these polygons, reverse the selection, hit the delete key. Now hit the X key and extrude this down a bit, maybe so. Drop the tool, select one of these faces, reverse the selection again and hit delete. Now we have a polygon which is perfectly aligned to our initial cylinder and we can start to build our cutting tool. So I go to duplicate, radial sweep, 18, no offset here, uh, action center is origin, click in the viewport, I want it around the Y, that's not so bad. And let's see how the offset, the offset is about this, yes, but unfortunately our threads are going the wrong way. So I need this to be minus 360. That is better. Now I need to invert the polygons. And we have 12 threads. So times 12. Um, times 12 here. And times 12 here. Go to front view, let's see how this looks, that's not so bad at all. Drop the tool, deselect everything, get rid of the hex generator, no, the uh, helix generator, I don't know why this one always stays. Then I hit the R key, oh, action center is still origin, automatic. Then hit the W key, bring this up a bit, like so, drop the tool, go to this other mesh, perspective, now we can go to geometry, boolean, solid drill, stencil, ok, and we didn't get an error message, which is a good sign. Let me just see if we have some words which need merging. No. Good. Then I select an edge here, Alt C, with a count of 1. Then I go to top view, hit the R key, green circle, Bring this out like so, perspective view, yes, select these edges as well 
and these edges as well. Then go to Vertex Map, Edgeway Tool, click in the viewport with the weight of 20. Let's shift tap, have a look how this looks. That looks good. Drop the tool, shift tab out, select the entire uh, model, control X, go back to our original mesh, control V, and now let me merge these words. 36 and here is our finished model. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, take care. See you another time. Have fun modeling with Modo. Bye bye.